Are you bored? Are you tired of being bored? Are you bored of being bored? Well, in this video, Hello everyone on YouTube, Masquerade here, welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be discussing 20 things to do when you're bored, indoors edition. Now keep in mind, these things are meant to entertain you, keep you busy, and hopefully give you some inspiration. And some of these might be helpful, some of them might be interesting, maybe, maybe not. And I'll also be giving you explanations and examples, so without further ado, let's get into it. So number one is gaming. So gaming is very self-explanatory. As long as you have a computer at your house, you can play online games. There are hundreds, if not thousands, thousands of games out there that you could select from. If you want to play video games, you can go to a game store and buy some games. So there is no excuse. But if you also want to play games at your house, you can play card games, you can play board games, you can play indoor games such as puzzles and just have fun with your friends and family. Number two is gardening. Now gardening is getting really popular. A lot of people nowadays want to start buying seeds and planting plants. They are planting like flowers, trees, fruits and vegetables. Also another trend that people are are doing is having bedroom plants. Have you ever heard of a snake plant or a spider plant? No, neither have I, but judging from what I'm looking here, there's all kinds of plants that you could select from and buy. Number three is cooking. Now, we all eat food, whether we eat to live or live to eat, we all have to consume food and why not create your own recipe? So, if you always wanted to start cooking and learn cooking, maybe you want to try a new dish, a new recipe, now is the time to do it. And also I would like to add baking. So if you want to make cookies, if you want to make bread, if you want to make cupcakes, now you can do it. Start making your own special recipe. Number four is Netflix or movies. So there are plenty of movies out there. There are thousands if not millions of movies out there to select from and watch. There are so many that you can just binge watch all of them. Movies, TV shows, you can also watch Korean dramas, Japanese dramas, Chinese dramas, foreign films. You cannot get bored of this. So why not watch one right now? Number five is having a pet. So if you're feeling lonely and you are all alone and you need some companion, you can go to your local pet store and buy yourself a cat, a dog, a hamster, a snake, maybe a guinea pig, anything you want. And you can also interact with them, you could play with them, you could take care of them. So number six is reading. Now, if you are a bookworm, you probably already love reading, but for those who don't, why not give it a try? Knowledge is power. You can read books, dictionaries, newspapers, articles. You can even read the thesaurus if you want. <laughs> and acquire knowledge. So why not give it a try? You might even learn something new. Number seven is sleeping. Now sleeping can be fun and interesting because when you sleep, you dream. You can have your own big fantasy world when you dream, but also be careful of nightmares. So number eight is singing. So whether you want to try to sing like your favorite artist or whether you want to learn singing, you can sing anything you want from different genres. You could sing to rap, you could sing to rock, you could sing to opera, you could sing to country. And why not start go karaoke? Number nine is dancing. So dancing can be a lot of fun because you can start learning how to dance. You can start practicing how to dance, do a dance routine, start some choreography. You could dance to tap dancing, you could dance to break dancing, you could dance to hip hop dancing, you could do salsa, you could even do club dancing and start moving. Number 10 is instruments. So there might be a lot of people out there who may have started playing in instruments but haven't continued because of time, because of certain circumstances. Well, if you are bored, you can start playing and practicing and improving. And there might be also people who haven't started playing an instrument before. So you could start by playing anything you want, like piano, guitar, drums, saxophone, trumpet, anything that piques your interest. Also, I would like to include DJing because that is music, so that sounds pretty interesting as well. So number 11 is exercise. So not a lot of people can go to the gym, but we can bring the gym to us. We can also buy workout equipments. We can buy some dumbbells. We can even change our garage room into a workout station and we can do jogging, we could do some stretching, we could do some cardio, we could even do some weightlifting. <laughs> So 
number 12 is a drawing. So I know there's a lot of people who love to draw. Maybe you want to become an artist and start practicing. You can draw anything you want, whatever comes to your mind. You can draw people, you can draw animals, you can draw landscapes, you can draw cartoon characters, anime characters, anything you like. Also, I would like to include writing. So there are a lot of people who love to write as well. What can you write? You can write diaries, you can write journals, you can write even your own book. Maybe you want to become an author and write your own story. So number 13. So number 13 is a little bit interesting and a little bit unique because a lot of people might not be able to go shopping to the mall but what can you do you could do some online shopping so you can go to Amazon you could go to eBay you could go to Etsy it's like a different type a different version of shopping on your computer and also I would like to include real estate because a lot of people are searching houses and doing house searching so what can you do and where can you go you could go to realtor.com or you can check out Zillow so number 14 is chat and what do I mean by chat I'm talking talking about calling, I'm talking about texting, I'm talking about Zoom. So if you're feeling lonely and you want to connect with people, maybe you haven't talked to this person for a long time and you want to reconnect, you could start by calling them, you could start by texting them, you could do Zoom, you could do Skype if people still do Skype. Also you can invite other people into a group setting and you can connect and reconnect. You could also have a nice conversation and socialize. Number 15 is YouTube. So if you're bored, why not create your own YouTube channel and make Make your own videos because making YouTube videos on YouTube is takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. You have to brainstorm the video, you have to create it, and you have to edit it. Definitely, it will take time and effort. It will keep you busy for sure. So why not create your own videos and create your own entertainment and start building up from there? So number 16 is doing chores. Now this part is just to keep you busy. What can you do? You can mow your lawn, you can wash your car, you can start cleaning your room, you can start organizing your furniture you can do laundry anything of these things will do and why not do it because for the sake of boredom Number 17 is social media. Need I say more? Because these things can keep us busy. These things can keep us entertained. These things can take a lot of our time. So what do I mean? Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, any of these things. So there is no excuse. And we have a lot more where that came from. Number 18 is language. So there is a lot of people who want to learn a new language or maybe want to learn multiple languages. That is going to take a lot of time and a lot of effort. So what can you do? You can start by speaking the language, practicing and learning, and maybe even have to teach someone a new language if you want to improve and make your language more efficient and sound like a native speaker. What kind of languages are there? There are several, if not hundreds of languages. Some examples would be Korean, Spanish, German, Russian, uh, Chinese, Japanese, Dutch, Polish, anything you want. And how do you decide? Well, I'll break down to three things. One, interest. Two, area so the place that you're living in and you want to pick the one that most suited for that area and three random just pick any language you want something that moves you to learn and start learning number 19 is collection now there is a lot of people that just collect a lot of random stuff maybe you are a collector maybe you collect specific things uh, some examples would be coins artifacts sculptures pottery tapestry paintings anything of the sort maybe you want to start your own different collection maybe you want to start a random collection any collection will do something that will keep you motivated and keep you interested and keep you busy number 20 so number 20 is the last one so I practically made it into a bonus round so I'll just be listing off some other things that you can do that might be interesting that might be motivating that might be inspirational and might keep you busy such as another one origami calligraphy knitting and sewing stargazing photography having a conversation with with Alexa. <laughs> Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like the video, share the video, subscribe, turn that notification bell on so you don't miss a video, and comment down below which one was helpful, which one gave you inspiration. And I'll see you guys next time.